Hi, this is Dirt Farmer Maggie from DirtFarmerJ.com. Today I'm going to share an old family recipe with you about what you would love to make for your family for dinner some night, maybe even this week. Stay tuned. In our family, if it was a really special occasion, a birthday, an anniversary, or something like that, my mom would make pasties. I don't know if you've ever heard of pasties before, but their history goes all the way back to the 1200s in Cornwall, England, where it was a mining town. The miners mined, uh, mined tin there, and they needed something to take for lunch to eat while they were down in the mine. Obviously, they didn't leave the mine and go to lunch and come back. So their wives came up with the idea of baking meat and potatoes inside of a crust that they could just hold in their hand, they could put it in their pocket while they were working, take it out and eat it for lunch. And that's where pasties came from. So in our family, we didn't have them very often because they can be a considerable amount of work to make, but I'm going to show you an easy way to make them. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with Pillsbury pie crust. Now, if you're a, a scratch pie crust maker, kudos to you. This is my scratch pie crust right here. <clears throat> so I have, there's two rolls like this that come in the box and I'm going to make four pasties out of those two rolls. So the first thing I'm going to do is roll them out and if you pretty much just divide it in half then you'll get just about the right amount of dough for each pasty and I just sort of crunch them in my hand like this to make a nice flat surface to start the rolling out process. And what goes in pasties are some type of meat. I like to use sirloin steak and I've already got it cut there into little cubes. You wanna put potatoes, onions, some little dabs of butter, some salt and pepper, and you can add other vegetables if you like. Sometimes people will put carrots into pasties. I prefer them without the carrots, so I'm going to show you the way that I like to make them. So I'm just going to roll out these pasty pie crusts. You want to make them as round as you can because you're going to put all the ingredients in here raw. And you think, what? You're going to put raw meat into this pie crust? Yes, I am because it's going to cook inside the pie crust with all those juices from the meat mixing with the potato and the onion and it's going to be a yummy result, believe me. All right, so got them all rolled out now. And the next thing we're going to do is, well, you wanna turn your oven on to 350. I've had mine heating over there for a little while. Move some of this stuff out of the way. I'll put it down here in the sink. So we're going to start with the meat and you can kind of pre-divide it up. I probably have more meat here than I need for four pasties, but you're gonna put in maybe like that amount of meat. Always salt and pepper it. <clears throat> Next thing we're gonna do is take a little handful of potatoes. You notice how I'm putting this on the, the lower half of the circle because we're gonna fold this top half over the top. So you wanna get it off balance. So we'll put some, a little, few more potatoes. I think I've overdone it on all the meat and potatoes here. So we'll be having that for a couple days. Again, salt and pepper it. And then we're gonna take a little dab of chopped onion, sprinkle it on the top. You want that onion's flavor to go down and just uh, marinate all the meat and potatoes underneath it. <clears throat> and then the last thing is a couple of dabs of butter. Now, here's the real trick to pasties is keeping everything on top of the pile. Okay, so we're gonna fold it over. You kinda just can push, the, the, push it in there, bring it up, make sure you get it all folded up really tightly because you don't want any of the juices coming out during the baking process. So we're gonna get that folded up. Then we're going to pinch these together. And then we're going to put it on our baking pan. Now we're going to step and repeat for the rest of the other ones. Okay, so this is our number four pasty. 
again, make sure that you get it tucked away really good so that all of that heat stays inside there and cooks all the ingredients while it's baking. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take these, put them into a 350 oven for about an hour. All right, so our timer's gone off and the pasties look like they're done really nicely. I'll take one off here and show you what's happened on the inside. You can see there that the meat is cooked really nice. The potatoes are nice and soft. All the onions have mixed in with it. And that's gonna be a yummy meal. I like ketchup on mine. My camera guy, Rob, likes um, vinegar. So we'll see which one of us wins today. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you make pasties and your family loves them, would you give me a comment and let me know that we've uh, improved your life in that way. And until next time, this is Dirt Farmer Maggie from dirtfarmerj.com.